How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here, and in today's video I really wanted to talk about a mechanic in Dragon Ball Fighters, why that mechanic is the way it is, and because of that, why there has been problems arising with this mechanic ever since the game's initial release. That mechanic is of course the Super Dash. It really cannot be understated how important the Super Dash is to Dragon Ball Fighters and the way it's played. Whether the Super Dash mechanic is being used to extend combos, or it's just being used to get in from full screen, it's a core component of your game at almost every level of play, from beginner to advanced. Super Dashing also plays a vital role when it comes to how welcoming the game is to newcomers to the fighting game genre. Honestly, I would say that 9 times out of 10, the thing that new players struggle with the most is getting in on an opponent that likes to keep them out with projectiles, and the Super Dash alleviates that problem beautifully. It keeps the action part of fights rolling because it brings you from where you are to your opponent while also counting as a hit, and unfortunately this tracking to the opponent is where we start to see some of the biggest issues with Super Dash arise. I will say that most of the time, the mechanic works perfectly fine. It brings you in closer to your opponent, you get the hit on them, and the game continues after that. But sometimes under very specific circumstances, the Super Dash is actually capable of missing your opponent on the first go around, turning back, and crossing up the opponent. This can be devastating to your opponent because if they expect to have to block it normally and get hit, that can result in them losing an entire character, or at worst, maybe it's their last character and they just flat out lose the game from getting crossed up by this Super Dash. And while this is definitely the most game-changing and important way that Super Dash mechanic can fail sometimes, the other is just plain annoying and brings the pace of a game down to a halt. Sometimes when you click Super Dash and your opponent moves in a certain way, there's a chance of your character missing them, swooping up and just flying into the sky at a downward angle. Uh, it looks super ridiculous, and it just puts you and your opponent usually at a full screen situation again, and you're just back in neutral, and it just looks goofy and kills the pace of the fight like I said. So of course these two issues with super dashing is a direct result of the way it's been implemented into the game. If somehow you go past your opponent with the super dash, it still wants you to connect with your enemy, so it will bring you back and cross up the opponent. And if you happen to super dash at a weird angle, it will try to correct you, but then give out, sending you up into the sky. It's not hard to understand why these issues happen, but it is an entirely different ballpark when you talk about ways to stop them from happening. The Super Dash mechanic in and of itself is so core to Dragon Ball Fighters and makes the game a really fun and visceral experience for a lot of players. It wouldn't be worth fixing these issues if the cost was that Super Dashing would become way less useful and way less fun. There have been a lot of ideas suggested from people in the community for Dragon Ball Fighters, but honestly a lot of them sound way too drastic. For example, I've seen the idea that Super Dash shouldn't track. I'm not really too sure how you would go about implementing this into the game, uh, because Super Dashing is used in a lot of combos, it's not just used for the neutral. But even if that wasn't a worry, I still think taking away options from the player is always something that should be a last resort when it comes to game design. Another suggestion that I've heard that I really just can't get behind is that Super Dash shouldn't count as a hit. Now at first I definitely thought that the idea had some potential, but then I recognized that at its core, Super Dash is something that gets you from full screen to close to your opponent, while also deflecting key blasts out of the way. So really if your opponent was to fire a key blast from full screen, you saw that, reacted to it with Super Dash, if you ended up at your opponent without hitting them, there's a good chance that your opponent would probably be able to punish with a light and just get you into a full combo anyway. And another demographic of players that I think this change would hurt a lot is definitely the more casual players. Uh, these are players that just play the game to have fun, they're not interested in getting too deep into the mechanics of how things are punished, and they use this mechanic a lot to get in and it's pretty much their all-purpose button. So I think if you take away the hit from Super Dash and casuals are still going to use it to get in because it's an option presented to them, uh, it's going to leave them open to a lot of attacks. Uh, one thing casual players do not like to do is play defense, and I, I don't know, it's just not an idea that sits too well with me. It hurts a lot of people, slows down the pace of the game, and uh, again, it's used in combos, so even if we say Super Dashing after a combo uh, does count as a hit, it's still just too weird and I don't think I would like that idea either. So now that we've reached the end of the video, it kind of sucks that I don't have any suggestions or answers as to how these two problems could be fixed, because I'm really worried that at the end of the day, this cross-up Super Dash is going to affect a big tournament, and if I see that kind of stuff at EVO Grand Finals, that a Super Dash cross-up is what seals the deal and wins it for somebody, I am going to be so upset, it's going to be beyond ridiculous. But Super Dashing as a mechanic is just so coarse, and at the end of the day, it's really fun. But if you have any suggestions as to how you think this could be addressed or fixed, please feel free to let me know down in the comments, because this is something that I genuinely am interested in seeing 
how it could be solved. While you're down in the comments, if you like this video and enjoy the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want more Dragon Ball Fighters content like this. I'm Dato Doya, I'll see you in the next video.